hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is your first time here hello you're welcome to sew with rufus chrissy we talk fashion trends and sewing tutorials here if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit on the subscription button it's free and also turn on the notification bell in order to be the first person to see our notifications whenever we post new videos thank you i love you guys Hello everyone, I have a crinoline here, you can see my crinoline, so I want to show us how to hide our crinoline, especially, you know in fashion now, if you use crinoline without hiding it, it doesn't mean anything because it's already in fashion. So, but today because I'm using different color, when you want to attach, you have to use the same color, so but today I have black color here, and this one here, I bought it 2000, so I think they're selling it. 3000 well i bought this from tom jones for 2200 now i have uh, my flare here so i want to show us how to attach his to the flare how to hide it because we're using different color entirely so i don't want this color to show on this orange satin okay so i have this course which is a 180 degree and of course i want to be attaching it to the m line this is the M line here. So I want to attach this to this M line here. Can we see this is the M line here? So I'm going to pick it from the very beginning here. The first thing I have to do because it's a detachable back, so I will have to turn this one, pipe it in first. So after piping him, I will show us the next you know step. Okay, so I'm done with the side, the side of the flare, and now to turn the M line, I'll be needing to measure the pino line. Can you see it? I'm going to take the measurement times two. I have three inches there. Can you see it? The crino line width is three inches. So these three inches multiplied by two will give me six inches. Then I'm going to add a half inch, you know, this side because I'm, you know, kind of folding it up. So these three inches here, add half inch to it, which is a SA. So I have three and a half. That gives me seven inches. Now I'm going to cut out the satin on a straight cut. Can you see straight cut? And it's going to be seven inches. So I have the cut out already. And of course, you can see that I have seven inches there so i cut three pieces of this hoping that it will be enough you can actually take the measurements round to know how many cuts is going to be enough so this is by 60 the width of uh, satin now i'm going to go ahead and join the three together so i have these and uh, these can you see it so i'm going to place it like this and join the three together because i'm using it to turn the end line so i'll go ahead and you know stitch this together So just make sure you stitch together the two. Bend everything together. Now I joined a four cutouts. Four. So this is the first one. And then this is the second one. Make sure you trim the edges here. The savage. So I'm going to trim it off. Can you see it? Okay, so this is the tip of my flare. Can we see it? This is the tip, the M line. And this is the cut out, the straight cut out, the seven inches that we cut out. So I'm going to place this, just fold it a little bit like this and place it here, like so. So I'm going to stitch down. Can we see it? I will sew it down, run the, you know, run the M line. When you're placing it, it's very important. Can you see this is the wrong side of the fabric? This is the wrong side, and this is the right side facing the wrong side, and this is the wrong side up because we're still going to turn it out. Like, can we see it? We're turning it to the front. So, back, you're placing the this is the straight cuts, straight cuts on the face, the face of the fabric, and the flare on the back of the fabric. 
so I'm going to stitch down I will join this round the end line you use half inch to join round now you can see this place okay so this is my crino line can you see it so i just placed this one on it i cut out pieces and place it like this in between can you see it? i placed it in between so after that i stitched down you know sew it down and you can just you know bring it out like this can you see it now i'm going to wrap it like this just to cover it and then do the same thing here cover it up can you see it so that is exactly what i'm doing i will just sew it down i hope you understand this it's very simple just sew it around the i'll just tape it like this i'm taping it down can you see i'm just going to tape it so i'm down just like this and you see this just to secure the edges of a uh, of your crinoline. line so I can start fixing it now so now the next to do is to fix can you see so I'm bringing this one to the front let me look for the other So I'm bringing this one to the front like this. Can you see it? And now I have to place my crinoline here. Can you see it? I will open the same up like this. Can you see it? I will open the sorry. I will insert it like this. Can you see it? I'm inserting like this. Then I'm going to be using paint to paint it so that I can bring it here. Can you see it? And then tape this one inside. I hope you can see it. I'm going to paint down. Can you see it? Just all this um, painting. So I'm going to paint like this. And after that, I'm going to fold this one here, and everything goes in like this just to cover this place here. Can you see it? So you're bringing this one to cover this place here then you stitch I hope you can see it going to keep painting this might paint get the same line down can you see it and another way if you don't want to stitch like this you can actually bring it up like this and you fold your this can you see it? then sew it on this place like this whichever one you prefer guys to make it very easy you know to make it very easy first stitch this place down then you can now cover it that will be you know it will be okay i think it will be better so just make sure you stitch down but if you're the one that you love a quick hair we you can just fold it in the way i showed it but this is better so that you not start struggling with uh, with this so first stitch this one down like this make sure you insert this in between can you see it you, you secure this already with this one then you can easily fold it over and tape it into sew so i'll go ahead and uh, stitch this one on there then show us how i'm going to finish up with this uh, the hemline here so please when you're doing this make sure that you don't this one don't drag it just leave it like uh, you know hold it like this normal we don't drag it like this leave it like this and stitch it's very important 
Okay, so now, now that I'm very close to the tip, can you see this is the tip? I'm going to cut it out here. Can you see it's from this place? I'm cutting it out. And now I'm going to, you know, secure it the same way I did to the first the first uh, hem. I'm going to secure it the same way I did to the first uh, hedge. Okay, so I've secured the, the mouth. Now I can just continue the sewing. So I'm going to continue and hide it here. Can you see it? I'm going to continue and hide it here. So now I'm done with this thing. Can you see it? I'm done with this one. Okay, so now you can see that I've secured this with this uh, like this. Can you see it? If you check the back, it's secured now. Can you see this? So I will have to fold on it. Can you see it? I'm folding on it. Then I will use my pin to pin them. So can you see it? Now I'm going to pin this place. Can you see it? I'll pin like this and you know fold this one in can you see it i'm folding this one in then pin can you see it i'll call pin Don't forget, we've secured the crino line. The next is just to sew on it. So I'll pin it and then stitch on it like this. Now just fold it in like this. Can you see it? And you have this here. Just fold it over this line. So we're folding like this. Then stitch. Can you see it? So fold in. Okay. So if you check it, can you see what I'm having here? This is what I'm having here. Can you see this place? So this the you can see it. Can you see it? I'm trying to show us this. So you can see the can you see it's the outcome so this is what you're going to have and at the back it's going to be double can you see it's like double stitches can you see so this is the back this is the back but the second one is not really showing